Hi there, these comments are for SD. I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer uh, for all of the lessons at otconlinetoeflcourse.com. And uh, let's take a look at your email. You say, I took the exam again, and as you see, I scored 97. However, I scored 25 in the speaking. I need 26. Darn. One point. Ah, right? <laughs> I feel your pain, buddy. It says, I have two options to take the exam on the 13th of, of uh, November or the 5th of December. Which date do you think is better for me? Do you have any suggestions? Yes, I do. Uh, I would say take it on the 5th, the 5th. And then what you can do is, I think you're one of my speaking boot camp students, right? So keep sending me speaking practice. Uh, but I want you to supplement that. Maybe meet with me one hour face to face. Fridays works perfectly. Uh, I'm pretty much free all day long. Maybe we can have maybe one private lesson each Friday for the next four Fridays. And then during the first 30 minutes, I want to do some pronunciation, accent reduction practice. Then for the next 30 minutes, we'll do speaking practice. You can pick maybe two speaking tasks, and then I'll help you on those. I'll grade you on those. The next Saturday, you can pick two more tasks. So we'll do the speaking and pronunciation practice maybe if we do it for maybe three or four Fridays, uh, I think that might get you on track, right? I know you haven't met with me in a private lesson yet, and if it fits your budget, I think it'd be a good idea. All right, you can think about it. All right, hang in there, buddy. You can do this. And uh, let me tell you a quick story here. Uh, I had a student about two years ago. Now, this is not gonna be in your case. But he took the TOEFL exam, I think he took it like 21 times over a period of two years. And finally, he got the 26 he was looking for in the speaking. I graded over 257 speaking practice tests from just that one student over a period of six months. And finally, he did it, finally. So I think the one thing that changed how he got it is he, he was so concentrated on the TOEFL and the speaking that he was missing the bigger picture. The bigger picture is he needed to improve his language use a little bit, including grammar and vocabulary, and more importantly, he needed to improve his delivery, his overall pronunciation, right? So once he kind of put the TOEFL aside and he worked on these specific areas and he made improvements in those areas, he actually improved his ability to speak fluently, coherently, and clearly to native speakers. And once he did that, then he took the TOEFL, then he reached his goal. So remember the big picture here as, as you work for the next few weeks to improve your speaking one point. Think of the real picture. Say to yourself, I want to speak like a native speaker. I want to speak quickly. I want to speak clearly. I want to have a really good range of vocabulary and grammar when I speak. I want to be able to organize and develop my ideas in a way that's very easy for other people to understand, right? If you can do that, right, that means that you can communicate very effectively with people who speak English, and of course, you're going to reach your TOEFL score at the same time. So think of that, think of that, that, get your mindset on that. All right, so my proposal for you is uh, keep doing the speaking boot camp course. If you run out, re-enroll in that. Maybe arrange for one private lesson each Friday for the next few Fridays, and I can help you with the accent reduction and the speaking. All right, think about it.